folks, welcome back to Whispering Pines. I'm Tubbs Tarbell, and tonight we bring you episode number 425, if memory serves. Oh boy, oh boy, this has been one hell of a winter. Now, last time around, you may recall, it started snowing. Well, it didn't stop. We've been snowed in here ever since. Something called uh, an astral storm, they tell me. I haven't even been able to get out hunting and gathering. We've had to rely on our stash of tin meats, which is especially irritating since I've been trying to keep vegetarian. It's getting pretty tiresome, I must admit. I've done my best to keep myself occupied. <laughs> you know what they say about idle hands. I spiffed the place up. Good tidy and was long overdue. I brushed all my hats, every last one of them. Took me three days. I got out my old oil paints. Uh, my heck, I even tried my hand at embroidery. <laughs> Suppose it's been relaxing in a way, but it's dragging on. Now everyone knows I love this place more than anything, but dang, I won't deny I'm getting a little stir crazy. And I think the boys are too. They play through just about every song they know, and quite a few they don't by the sound of it. In the wee hours, I've heard some very strange noises, very strange indeed, but uh, they was managed to turn it into something. Let's see what they're working on tonight, shall we?
you folks from calling in, and I've had plenty of time to listen to each and every one of your questions and requests. Thanks for the calls. They mean the world to me. I just wish I could answer them all. But uh, here's a few off the top of my head. Purple, squirrels and other varmints, and, and no, I don't care much for clowns. Oh, except boo-boo slippers. He was a hell of a good guy. Well, what do you know? Looks like there's a few new messages waiting for me. Hey, Tubbs. Chris from Philadelphia here. I was hoping the boys could fire up a new version of the Balancer's Eye. Really interested to see how they adapt it with Whispering Pines vibes. Well, why not? I'd be interested to see what they do with that one, too. Take it away, boys.
I was cleaning this place up, I came across one of my old hidey holes. <sighs> I used to have to hide my cigarettes around the studio back when Lee Green here was trying to get me to quit. Hell of a kid and one hell of a singer too, once she found her voice. But I'm telling you, she was relentless. She so much as caught a whiff of smoke on me and She'd let me have it. Well, what's this? Note. Who do you think you're fooling, you old dummy? Ha <laughs> ha, dang. That gal always did have my number. Of course, I know. She was just looking out for me. All right, Lee. You got me. She went on to bigger and better things a long time ago. Nobody deserved it more than her. Oh, 
I'll be dang. More new messages. Let's see what we got. Hi, I'm Glenn, and I am from Washington, Illinois, and I just want to say hi. Thanks for calling, Graham. Howdy right back at you, buddy. Hello, Mr. Tarbell. I'd like to know if you would like to go to the moon. Let me know. <laughs> the moon, huh? Well, sure, I reckon I'd want to go to the moon if I had the chance. I've often wondered what this place would look like from way up there. So, if you sell them tickets, sign me up. This is Kristen from Camera Wyoming, and I'd like to request Moon Song because it's a rarity that people need to hear. Thank you so much. Hmm. I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Uh, fellas? special announcement from the WBUB Skygazer weather team. Astral Storm Derek has officially dissipated. As the skies clear, expect rapid snowmelt, flash flooding, and celebratory woodland creatures. Look skyward for exceptionally clear views of the Balancer's I constellation, as well as ES-7, the Emerald Star. And keep your eyes peeled for the WBUB satellite as it makes its way across the sky. We now return to your regularly scheduled program already in progress. Did you hear the news, folks? The storm's over at last. It's all right with you. I think we'll take the rest of this episode outdoors. Starting to smell Just a kid with his 
hair slipped back and laugh tucked in his bed Was he unforgiving or just tired of living a life that never felt like his? Though I was wild and wary, I thought I'd bury him and lay his soul to rest out in the desert night there are billions of worlds, much like our own out there. Chances seem pretty slim that we're the only beating hearts in all the cosmos. Ah, uh, anyway, it sure feels good to get outside. I'm just making sure the boys got plenty of fuel. I think it's gonna be a long night out here around the fire. When they get to telling spooky stories, there's no stopping them.
See something out there, way out there.
Merci. style. I can hardly keep up. I better head out and gather up some more wood. It'll do me good to take a stroll. Stretch the old gams. Shall we? Mr. Owl. Oh, 
Huh. I've wandered these woods a thousand times. I ain't never come across this spot. What a beautiful place. The water, it's, it's like it's glowing. Dang. Take me back to the night. 